And now I invite everyone to take a big deep breath with me to bring ourselves fully into this precious time we've set aside to be together. And with the next breath, just set aside everything else and bring your whole self to this moment. And now as sound vibrates through us and around us, may we be reminded how deeply and profoundly and inextricably interconnected we are with each other, with all humans, with all life on this planet, with all the stars in the cosmos. This morning, our call to worship and our chalice lighting words come from Keelan Harkin, leave your shoes. Leave your shoes and your old concepts of God at the door. Hang your heavy identities on the coat rack. You simply don't need those things in here. It's much too warm in this house for all the facade you've been build bundling up in. If you come with pain, let's use it to light a fire in this old hearth. Sharing this flame puts it in its rightful place where our humanity can gather around it together and sing. Leave your shoes and your old concepts of God at the door and let's see what wonders emerge when we let our souls and our feet free to finally begin to dance. You know, Reverend Jan, this is a community uh, that is constantly cultivating curiosity, right? Yes, indeed. Yes. So one of the questions that I think I hear a lot of people wondering about, even if a little secretly, is what does God look like? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. So I thought it might be cool, because we do this on a regular basis, to look in the Wonder Box and see what it is that God might look like. Okay, let's see what's in the Wonder Box. Hmm. It's empty, Bob. Hmm. I think we're going to have to look elsewhere. Well, it's a good thing we had another plan, but wanted to start with the Wonder Box. You know, some questions are just harder to answer than other questions. I find sometimes the best people to help us with the harder questions are poets. Poets have this gift with images and with language. It's, it's like they paint with their pens. They can help us look in other places, sometimes in fun and sometimes funny ways to explore our questions. They can help us sneak up on ourselves too when we get too serious. Sometimes I get too serious. Do you get too serious? Sometimes. Sometimes. So we've gathered some poems this morning uh, to share with our whole community. Four poets, in fact. Two of them lived a long time ago, and you've probably heard them named before, Rumi and Hafiz. They were Sufi mystics. That is, they were members of the Islamic faith, but who took a mystic's path constantly living the questions of life. A third one is a woman living in our time named Keelan Harkin. And, and I just want to say uh, thank you to Sherry Bailey for pointing Keelan Harkin's work out to me. That's how we even know about her. She admits that Rumi and Hafiz inspired her to write a lot of her poetry. And the fourth one is the man living in our time named Mark Nepo, who found himself living through a series of very difficult life and death situations and began writing his poetry out of those experiences. We want to share them with you this morning. So these mystical poet writers may make you laugh out loud. 
they may make you sigh or go, hmm. Mm -hmm. They may bring a tear to your eye for reasons that only you understand or <clears throat> for reasons that you do not understand. So let's go play with the poets. Poets <coughs> play with words, and by playing with words, they help us into things that often we have no words for. So we invite you in this service of poetry to pay attention to what catches your heart. You might even want to have a pencil and some paper nearby so that you can jot down a word or a phrase or a poet or a title that catches your heart, your mind, and your imagination. And later in the service, we will have breakout groups where you will have a chance to share what caught your heart with others in the community. So let's get started. Okay. Uh, we begin. God Broke In Last Night by Keelan Harkin. God broke in last night, and what once used to be my put-together soul has now become a holy mess. Thank God, the great scrambler, the ransacker of every bit of the small self, the demolition artist of the best laid plans, the intolerant of too tidy, the frustrated with facade, the broken pot. I'll pray to you in a new way now. It no longer seems perfection is what we're getting at. God's Bucket by Hafiz. If this world was not held in God's bucket, how could an ocean stand upside down on its head and never lose a drop of water? If your life was not contained in God's cup, how could you be so brave and laugh, dance in the face of death? <clears throat> Hafiz. There is a private chamber in the soul that knows a great secret of which no tongue can speak. Your existence, my dear, oh, love, my dear, has been sealed and marked. Too sacred, too sacred by the beloved to ever end. Indeed, God has written a thousand promises all over your heart that say life, life, Life is far too sacred to ever end. The Guest House by Rumi. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Your Own Damn Joy by Keelan Harkin. <clears throat> the price of admission into heaven 
is your own damn joy. Please stop trying to deny yourself this, and please stop telling yourself you'll only, maybe, get there when you die. <laughs> Go there now. What kind of damn fool puts off heaven? Child, it lives in the center of your heart, that endless meadow of happiness and praise. This world needs you to go there now to do your part in turning it into a paradise. I Can See Angels by Hafiz. I can see angels sitting on your ears, polishing trumpets, replacing lute strings, stretching new skins on the drums, and gathering wood for the evening's fire. They all danced last night, but you did not hear them. If you ask Hafiz for advice on how to befriend their sweet voices and how to have the nourishing company of the finer worlds, I would reply, I could not say anything you could not tell me. Then what was the use of this story? Oh, I just felt like talking. Untame Your God by Keelan Harkin. <clears throat> Untame Your God. Let her run through the wilderness of your soul again. Allow her to take off all her clothes, enough with modesty. She wants to pound her chest and drink moonlight through you. Let her reinvoke the stars back into each cell and give them all wine. Allow her to unapologetically sever every cord of control and let you feel how tender freedom is, how loving you can be without obeying anything but the pulsing truth that's eternally yearned to sing out from your heart, inviting magic home. Only Breath by Rumi. Not Christian or Jew or Muslim, not Hindu, Buddhist, Sufi or Zen, not any religion or cultural system. I am not from the East or the West, not out of the ocean or up from the ground, not natural or ethereal, not composed of elements at all. I do not exist, am not an entity in this world or the next, did not descend from Adam and Eve or any origin story. My place is placeless, a trace of the traceless. Neither body or soul, I belong to the beloved, have seen the two worlds as one, and that one calls to and know, first, last, outer, inner, only that breath-breathing human being. There is a way between voice and presence where information flows. In disciplined silence, it opens. With wandering talk, it closes.
Courteous to the Ant by Hafiz. God blooms from the shoulder of the elephant who becomes courteous to the ant. Too Wonderful by Hafiz. No one could ever paint a too wonderful picture of my heart or God. The very first religious exploration program I taught when I was 30 years old at the congregation in Virginia was called God Images. These poems offer us some possibilities for the images of God or the non-images of God. So now as we enter into small groups of three households for 10 minutes, You could share something from these poems that sparked your curiosity or touched your heart, or if you've arrived in the middle and didn't hear all of those poems, uh, maybe just something about the broad and interesting concepts of God that you might have experienced or encountered or held in your life. Share something with each other and click on the prompt on screen to enter your small group. You'll receive 60-second notice before returning automatically after 10 minutes. You may choose to pass if you prefer to reflect on this prompt on your own space through journaling, drawing, coloring, or contemplating. Maybe there's another poem with a concept of God that has intrigued you. Enjoy your conversations. See you in a few minutes. I hope that you had some enriching conversations. Love to hear your feedback after the service. Um, It is the time for our pastoral prayer. And before I offer this prayer, um, next Sunday we will have an opportunity for the community to share their joys and sorrows. But there are a few things that really need to be lifted up today. Um, First, I just want, uh, Bob, if you would please light a candle in remembrance of the horrific shooting at the Pulse nightclub five years ago yesterday. And um, hold those who survived and who are grieving still in your hearts. And we'll light another candle for the people of Austin and especially those who were involved, uh, affected by the shooting at the cantina last night Um, As of this morning, I had not heard yet that anyone had died, but there are people in critical condition. So hold all of them in your hearts and prayers, please. Thank you. Now I offer this earth prayer by Mark Nepo. Oh, endless creator, force of life, seat of the unconscious, dharma, atman, Ra, Kalb, dear center of our love, 
Christ light, Yahweh, Allah, Mawu, Mother of the Universe. Let us, when swimming with the stream, become the stream. Let us, when moving with the music, become the music. Let us, when rocking the wounded, become the suffering. Let us live deep enough till there is only one direction and slow enough till there is only the beginning of time and loud enough in our hearts till there is no need to speak. Let us live for the grace beneath all want. Let us see it in everything and everyone till we admit to the mystery that when I look deep enough in you, I find me. And when you dare to hear my fear in the recess of your heart, you recognize it as your secret, which you thought no one else knew. Oh, let us embrace that unexpected moment of unity as the atom of God. Let us have the courage to hold each other when we break and worship what unfolds. O nameless spirit that is not done with us, let us love without a net beyond the fear of death until the speck of peace we guard so well becomes the world. Amen. And we sing together, "'Tis a gift to be simple," words from Joseph Brackett set to an American shaker tune. Our congregation is committed to creating a more compassionate world. To this end, each quarter we split our plate collection with an organization nominated by someone in the congregation and selected by our giveaway, the plate committee. Our second quarter plate recipient is Path Project, a Gwinnett-based organization. Here is an excerpt from their website about the work they do in our local community. There are multiple challenges facing children growing up in mobile home parks, but the most pressing challenge is the high school dropout rate. We can end this with strong, positive relationships and education. This is why we do what we do. At the PATH Project Community Centers, they offer programs that are designed using research-based best practices and are led by certified teachers and youth development specialists who serve alongside incredible volunteers. Through partnerships with park owners, schools, businesses, churches, parents, and other nonprofits, they're able to offer on-site programs. Our plate contributions also support the shared ministry of this congregation, so I ask that you please give generously to support the work of this important ministry in our wider community, as well as the vision and mission of our congregation. As we listen to a recording of our pianist, Brian Bishop, playing Morning Promenade, by Alexander Gretschaninoff. You will see on the screen ways to contribute to our offering via PayPal, Venmo, or by mailing a check payable to UUCG to the address shown. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, your presence with us here today is a great gift to this congregation, and you may choose to let the plate pass. The offering will now be gratefully received. And we'll continue to try to make that slide visible for you. Sometimes this happens. 
if you um, if we aren't able to get it up you can go to our website and up in the upper right corner is a um, button called give and there you'll see all these options on how to offer a contribution to the congregation and to this uh, worthy recipient in our local community <clears throat> I believe that Tony will have put that link in the chat as well. May the generous gifts we received this week move us towards realizing our vision of a more connected and compassionate world. <clears throat> um, we pause now to offer gratitude for people in our congregation. I want to thank Doug Beers for moving bulletin boards and for building a new platform in the sanctuary for staging a camera for our multi-platform, listen, that's hear that pun there, multi-platform concurrent services starting on August 15th. Um, and there'll be some changes in our sanctuary, so we'll try to prepare you for that a little bit and let you know that some things will be different when you come in. Also very grateful to El Schneider for finding a new home for the fake plants in our building that were in our building. <laughs> I look forward to what we come up with to bring more live greenery into our spaces. <clears throat> I want to thank Peggy Averett, Terry Welsher, and Sharon Yuan for stepping up to serve as delegates to the Unitarian Universalist Association General Assembly coming up uh, next week. Um, so grateful for their um, willingness to serve this congregation in this way. And they have asked for your input on the issues that they'll be asked to vote on this year. So please go to uua.org slash GA and look at the agenda. And if you have questions about the things that they'll be voting on or you have ideas about it, please uh, reach out to either Peggy, Terry, or Sharon and let them know. And thank you, Tony, for serving as our Zoom manager today, and Russ Taddeo for managing our video and sound. Thank you both so much, and it was, uh, it's been quite a morning. <laughs> and now is the time for our call to connection, and our slides are still not sharing, so I will, I will just tell you some things to be aware of. Um, if you are new to our congregation, I encourage you to email um, info at uucg.org to sign up for our weekly e-news that comes out on Thursday and uh, our newsletter, which comes out monthly. And that will help you to see the kinds of activities that are going on and how you can get connected and involved and meet people. If you want to watch UUCG services from the past, you can go to YouTube and look for UU Gwinnett. We have our own channel there, UU Gwinnett. If you are looking for ways to be of service, there are lots of possibilities. I invite you, um, a Sign Up Genius link was sent in as, as a special, um, oh, look, Russ did magic somehow. And we have slides again. Thank you, Russ, for your persistence. Because this was the part that I really wanted people to see. Two people have signed up to clean windows. We need uh, four more, because then y'all could just wipe it out really fast, so to speak. We um, need a lot of people to come out and clear the two groves in the front. Some of you may remember that in 2018, we cleared out that left side that you couldn't even see through. Well, it's threatening to become quite opaque again. So uh, on our, you don't have to wait for July 3rd workday to come out and do stuff to clear that out. Um, we need people to help around the ritual grove and in the ritual grove to get that ready, spruce up the playground, um, refurbish the labyrinth, We've got one person who signed up for that. Repair the early the entry road. That's going to take a lot of effort of trying to make it level so people's cars don't bottom out there. Um, just general weeding and trimming that you could do on work days or any time you just have some time during the day and want to come out and do that. We need some people to help us with our supply cabinets. Three people have signed up. Need one more, and we need people to help organize our maintenance room. Uh, decorate bulletin boards, review and restock our pamphlet rack, 
especially those people who know what kinds of things we should have on our pamphlet rack would be good. Um, somebody to volunteer to find a way to get our carpets cleaned before August 15th and some people to organize our kitchen. So thank you for that. This Saturday at 10 o'clock, there'll be a gathering in downtown Lawrenceville at the corner of Pike and Perry uh, for a very somber and um, long-awaited uh, recognition of the uh, lynching of Charles Hale at that corner. We'll be collecting soil to be sent to the um, Legacy Museum in Montgomery and um, it'll be, I'll be leading the interfaith prayer. There'll be many people in our congregation have been a part of planning this event and are part of that Gwinnett Remembrance Coalition. Please join us. I learned that there is a platelet shortage and our dear beloved Terry still needs platelets and so do other people. So um, we don't want people to be in the situation of uh, oh, you need platelets, but we don't have any. So if you are able to donate, please, please do. Our property work day, as I mentioned, is July 3rd. And the food drive is July 4th. And if you're planning to travel that weekend, uh, you can drop stuff off before you go, and we'll get it. There's a bin out front. You can put it in. Faith development uh, resources are available for all ages. It's a wonderful collection for everyone. So please take advantage of that to deepen your journey. Elementary religious exploration in the summer is doing outdoor sessions uh, on the dates you see there. And we're doing Zoom gatherings on the other dates. So um, please, uh, this is a family uh, ministry, which means all structures of family. So anyone could come out and take part in these outdoor sessions uh, if you're uh, missing seeing our families uh, who have children. Uh, it's a great time to come and reconnect with them. And, um, and so I, I, I'm going to try and be there. <laughs> um, Every morning at 10 a.m. we offer our uh, adult and teen uh, faith development program and belief exploration happens today at 12.30 on Zoom. It's a wonderful, wonderful conversation. Lots of people love this, so come to that. On Monday night, uh, Gust will be meeting on Zoom, the Gwinnett Understanding Secular Truths. Also great conversations, a good group of people, so take advantage of that. And on June 19th, I don't remember what day of the week that is now. <laughs> yeah. Saturday. So next Saturday is the summer solstice ritual at 6 p.m., also on Zoom. Uh, Southeast UU Summer Institute uh, know that June 17th is the deadline for the priority registration, which means if you want a workshop that requires having something mailed to you, some supplies for the workshop, um, the deadline to sign up for those is the 17th of June. But actually, registration is open all the way until SUSE starts, and probably even during SUSE. We, and it's free. So, and workshops are priced really, really low this year, like $4, uh, and some workshops are free too. So please uh, check that out. And lots of ways to connect. I mentioned Gus, our choir meets on Tuesday nights, still on Zoom, but we're gonna start talking about when we will return for our in-person um, choir rehearsals here. I'm thinking probably July. And Yarns from the Heart is this week uh, on the, first and third Wednesdays. The coffee house is every Thursday. Uh, women's spirituality was last Friday, so wait for that for in, in uh, July. Belief exploration today and exploring Tarot with Sherry is every Sunday at five. Um, please remember that our pastoral care team is available to you 24 seven if you need someone to talk to or you're experiencing some spiritual or emotional uh, need for support, please reach out, they're there for you. Now, <clears throat> please rise in spirit as we say together the words we say as we extinguish our chalice, followed by our closing song, Bring Many Names, verses 1, 2, 3, and 5, written by Brian Wren and Carlton R. Young. We extinguish this flame, but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we are together again soon.
our closing words come from Hafiz. Hafiz. And for no reason, I started skipping like a child. And for no reason, I turn into a leaf that is carried so high, I kiss the sun's mouth and dissolve. And for no reason, I turn into a leaf <laughs> that is carried so high, I kiss the sun's mouth and dissolve. And for no reason, a thousand birds choose my head for a conference table, start passing their cups of wine and their wild songbooks all around. And for every reason in existence, I begin to eternally, to eternally laugh and love. When I turn into a leaf and start dancing, I run to kiss our beautiful friend, and I dissolve in the truth that I am. Our service has ended, and now our service to one another and our wider community begins. Be well, beloveds. Please do let me know if you or your children get vaccinated. Most of us are. We're well over 85% now. This is great and um, a key factor to our gathering. But we have enough. We've reached the threshold of active members and friends vaccinated, and we are now actively planning for our first limited seating in person registration ahead of time service on August 15th. So watch for information about that as the date gets closer. Blessed be. Have a great week. I love you. See you next Sunday.